any new information. So Kyla's Fagbimi and Aliyah. They just keep on voting for it, though. And they, and they vote for worse and worse, too. It's not like they, they just, you know, vote for the same level of terribleness in their mayor. They get a worse one and then a worse one. This guy looks like he's just going to let them all kill each other. That's what this guy looks like. Yeah, it's, it's it, well, that guy, he, 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 spe- he calls them cowards often. Like, he's often on in those press conferences he does, like, every other day, the shooting. Calling them cowards. I will give him that. Calling them cowards. I mean, but there's no, there's no like heavy duty militarized police response, like some armored vehicles, you know. And I mean, really, you know, they're gonna. It, it, the worse it gets, the worse the response is gonna have to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <sighs> Um. Yeah. Yeah, Gonzalez died in that shooting, and right now Metro Crime Stoppers is offering an eight thousand dollar reward for information leading to an arrest. Eight thousand thirty people were shot, and the reward is eight thousand bucks. The t- the it should have been eight. It should have been eight hundred thousand. <laughs> Listen, the two people that died were 18 and 20. Guess what? Those are two more son people that won't get to go to college, and it has nothing to do has nothing to do with affirmative action. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's true, man. Um, yeah, man. I mean, think about it. So, what's help me out? What what's the math on that? How much is that per victim? Eight thousand thirty victims. Divided by eight thousand. Yo, man, you like you said, man, it, it should be eight hundred thousand. Should be like we are uh, like shit, like Powerball numbers. <laughs> Real shit. Where's the GoFundMe on this? Shit. And no one's talking about this. No, I swear, this is the first hit, first time I'm hearing this. That's yeah, uh, two sixty six per victim. Two hundred sixty-six dollars per victim. <laughs> Yo, two hundred sixty-six dollars. Man, salute to Jerome B. He says the politicians and mainstream media will blame this on the gun if they talk about it at all. And Nate Way says, "Man, these children <laughs> have no con- con- secret. <laughs> Man, these children." Have no consideration over two gravity gravitudes. <laughs> yeah, man. Facts, man. Offering an eight thousand dollar reward for information leading to an arrest and charges. But I want to step out of the way and just show you the crime scene right over here. We're hearing reports that this was actually a block party, and of course, with any block party, it's supposed to be a fun summertime event. But come on, man, it's supposed to be. This teeming with look at this place. I know a hood when I see a hood. I know yo, if you think on a regular day, you meet a girl who live around here, she got a fat butt, big old titties, and pretty face, and little nice weave, and you and not too many tattoos, and you fucking holler at her on the phone, and you like, yeah, where you live at? And she like, I live in Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn at such and such park projects. When you come, you coming over here today? Uh, you coming over here? <laughs> Why don't you come over here? Yeah, man, you come over here. Especially when you know it's like this. Like hell no. Like nigga, I'll meet up with you somewhere else. Yeah, you know man, niggas ain't. You listen, man, neighborhoods like this, man. Unless you like from that side of town and you've been went going to school with niggas over here. All your life, or you've been fucking, you know what I'm saying, around this shit all your life and shit, and you know the area or whatever. Man, you ain't trying to go over there and see no fucking female, especially if she got a baby daddy, because her baby daddy, she be like, don't worry about him, he locked up. Yeah, but still, though, bitch. His oh, man. Wait I, oh, wait a minute. I didn't know he was getting out today. Yeah, it's like your 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 family though. It's like yo, it's just uncomfortable. I've done this plenty of times though. I've gone to seeing girls in neighborhoods like this. That's how I know. Me too. Uncomfortable, man. 
it's just weird, man. It'd be like you be in there and shit. You be hearing like voices outside, niggas in the niggas outside talking and shit, their conversation and shit. Like niggas out there talking, you listen to their conversation. <laughs> what the fuck is this talking? And then you like look outside and they, they standing near your car and shit. You like, man, man, I hope one of you niggas don't sit on my car, man. What do you think sit on my car, man? I had to say something to these niggas, man. <laughs> and they just leave you know saying because the nigga cause right here, nigga, niggas sit on the hood of your car and shit while they talking this shit, man. Niggas crazy, man. Sadly, here it turned into chaos. Now two people are dead. Nine victims are still in a hospital at last check, and police are still looking for at least two shooters. Overturned tables, scattered chairs, and more is what's left behind after shots rang out around 1230 Sunday morning. This all happened at the 800 block of Gretna Court in the Brooklyn neighborhood in South Baltimore. Police say that an 18-year-old woman and a 20-year-old man died from their injuries. They've been identified as Kylas Fagbimi and Aliyah Gonzalez. Nine additional victims were transported from the scene to local hospitals shortly after. This police, he been on the job for two weeks, man. It's been a hellish two weeks yet. 20 additional victims walked into local and regional hospitals with various injuries. Currently, we are still at 30 victims. Ages range from 13 to 32. Investigators say that 15 of the injured are minors. This tragic incident is another... 15 people under the age of 18 were shot in one foul swoop. How, many, how long would it take white America as a whole, not just a city, the entire glider stand of America. Non, I'm not talking about like fucking accidental shootings. Another person shoots them. How long would it take glider stand America to get 15 teens shot? I mean, I don't know the number, probably all year. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know the actual numbers, but... Uh... Yo, think about that, man. This is one city, one night. Blaring, unfortunate example of the deep issues of violence in Baltimore and Maryland and this country. Mayor Brandon Scott said that we must wrap our arms around this community, but also emphasize his concerns about illegal guns in Baltimore. The Baltimore Police Department has seized 1,345 illegal guns that were in the hands of people that should not have them that had them anyway, because they're so easy for them to obtain. We will continue uh, to hold those individuals who carry those weapons, who use those weapons in acts of violence like this one that we saw today accountable. Some residents raised concerns about the lack of patrols in this area during the event. This was a lack of patrols. That's their, their, their city councilwoman. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. This city councilwoman is blaming the police because there weren't enough police there. They knew it was a block party in the fucking Blackistan and they didn't have enough police there. Accountable. Some residents raised concerns about the lack of patrols in this area during the event. This was an unpermitted event. So our job now is to figure out when we locate, when we uh, figured out that this was occurring, what our officers did. And if we made mistakes. This is unprevented. So these people didn't go to the police and say, hey y'all, um, we having an event um here's our permit can you station some officers there they just broke out the fucking folding tables in the goddamn popcorn machine and the fucking shit and say hey everybody every fucking hood mother from here and hearing wide man come down here man come on all kinds of gratitude to yeah man and no fucking pat downs like there's no listen there's no fucking because you can't tell the son man he gotta leave so there's no like filter like everybody who comes is allowed you can't nobody get fresh nobody's turned away we'll fix them and move forward so this does not happen ever again several state and federal agencies are helping the city with the shooting investigation the mayor's office of neighborhood safety and engagement says that it's helping people here cope with this tragedy in this community we will be having a presence focused on healing resources coordinating city agency and community-based partner presence here now officials are vowing to find the people responsible i hope these folks don't sleep well because we're not going to sleep until we pull them up i promise you they sleep well so so 22 million dollars 
that's how much they defunded the police. Twenty two million, which probably in Baltimore is significant. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a unit. That's not just like um what do you have to so a police department has vice squads, they got gang unit, they got this unit, they got that, da 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 da, da that you never see if you're just a fucking BLM protester because you're fucking in the house at fucking nine o'clock. So you never see at fucking two o'clock in the morning when they bust these dudes on the corner and chase them through projects. You don't see none of that. So when you're protesting with defund the police, they have to cut certain units and for certain task force in order to keep everything stable. So when they do that, fuck shit up, man. Um, whew, my God. Um, so much more to go into get into this. Um, shout out to Muramasa, man. Murma said, I thought to son people, the police are race soldiers and not to be trusted. Yeah, until you shoot 30 of them. And then they're like, where the fuck you was at? And back out here live. Um, police are still out here looking for evidence. We just saw a couple of officers walk by just a few seconds ago. Uh, there's still a lot of questions with this. Um, and police did not say whether the shooting was targeted or random, um, but all of this still remains under investigation. But the big thing, though, is police are asking anybody with any information who may have heard or seen anything to give them a <laughs> The likelihood of that is next to know. I want to show y'all something um, before I get to the um, city council woman, man. I want to show y'all something, man. Um, <sighs> and salute to everybody watching on Rumble. Salute to everybody watching on Ock Nation. Go! Salute to everybody watching on Op Nation TV, man. Um, we in the building, man. We got um, my man said um, Azor Scribe. Who was that again? Who was Azor Scribe? I think the fuck is that again? Anyway, man, shout out to Azor Scribe on uh, Mer Monster. Yeah, Mer Monster says on, on Rumble. He says if the shooter was white, <laughs> there would be nonstop national coverage. Protest and ranting and raving, shaking my head. By the way, this is Murray Moss. Listen, man, I'm gonna try to find a, the national news story. I'm I'm gonna try to find because I there's no way there's no national news story. Salute to Sister Pizza Snacks too. Sister Pizza Snacks on um, Rumble says, "Holy shit! So glad to be in the USA." <laughs> I guess you were talking about earlier. When we were showing clips from Europe, um, I think she's probably changed her mind since then. But um, salute to Sister Pizza Snacks. Um, yeah, man. Um, listen, man. Uh, we got sisters out here. Um, so this sister says, these are white supremacy going into black communities and doing this. This is the fifth or sixth mass drive-by, and they haven't found these people. They always seem to find the black shooters good, these people. <laughs> Whatever. What the hell? But anyway, that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a thought that it's white people doing this because they never find the people. And white people coming into these um projects and shooting up the shit. Cause you know there's there's no suspect. So you know what I'm saying? If it was black, they would have found them. There's also a big movement in Baltimore to completely abolish the police. And it had 128 likes. Yeah, I, I, this is a prevalent thought. Like, this is not, this is mainstream, what she said. She didn't eloquate it, elocute it good, but, um, and she said, this is the fifth or sixth mass drive by. Uh, no, fuck her. 500. Um, this year um so this, this one says i totally believe you because it takes well, away from that that's right if that had been if that had been gliders you would have had like at least 50 percent kill rate i mean yeah. the guy remember the guy in vegas yeah but they, they, they these people they don't they don't think like they're not our nation so they don't understand the nuances of it. all they know is that Racism, 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 everywhere you go, under every rock. If you can't explain something, if you're stumped by anything, if someone inconveniences you, if the weight 
time is taking too long. If you call customer service and they say your wait time is three minutes, and you look at your watch and three minutes have passed, they heard my voice. They could tell I was black. And they Everything is, you I, You don't understand how black people are. It, these are regular black people. This is Instagram. This isn't like fucking Candace Owens, man. This is the regular black woman. This isn't even Brown Sugar or um, Miss Berry or you know, any other black woman that comes up here. Um, um, this is fucking some fucking soul sister from fucking Baltimore who's on fucking Instagram at work while she's supposed to be working or some shit. Or she's supposed to be watching her kids and she on Instagram somewhere. This one says, I totally believe you because it takes away from all the mass shootings of the white people. We're not saying that there's not black on black crime still, but now they're calling all these killings in black communities mass shootings when they weren't even recognized as any shooting or any murder. So yeah, I'm obliged to believe the KKK has something to do with it as well. All white supremacy or white supremacy or whatever you want to call it just like they did with the Wayne Williams in Atlanta, where they knew that the KKK had something to do with those boys' murders. That's the Atlanta child murders. But at the same time, they still charged Wayne with all of them only knowing that he was guilty of two. <laughs> and, and coincidentally, it all stopped when he went to jail, but that had nothing to do with it either, right? Well, he, this guy said he only did two of them. Um, so at least at least the, you have that. Um, well, yeah, I mean, they, they actually, that was in Mind Hunt, Mind Hunters. They were just talking about it. It, it made sense that it would be him because that it had to be somebody who was trusted in the community. It couldn't yeah. be some white guy driving up, rolling up over those kids, you know, wouldn't have worked. And, and listen, man, I've lived in Blackistan. Drugs is the only thing that brings white people around, man. Um, so this is, this Ray says, with all of them, only knowing that he was guilty of two and they had wiretaps they had inside information because one of the fbi had infiltrated the kkk so don't tell me what they're not capable of i believe it and i'm not saying it's true <laughs> but it's not unimaginable we have to start seeing and thinking the bigger picture <laughs> yes there's black or black crime every day all day but don't forget the things they do in our communities. Remember, they are they were coming in looting in the communities when we were peacefully protesting, trying to make it look like we were burning down things. We have to hold them accountable for their actions as we hold ourselves accountable. Well, that's true. There was gliders during the uh, BLM thing. And sons. As we hold ourselves accountable, why is it so hard to believe that they infiltrate our communities under the darkness, in the darkness. <sighs> because of the kill ratio, man. <laughs> this woman says, my black folks, this guy, he says, if there's more than five black people under the age of 25 standing around, there will be a shooting. <laughs> you can count on it. It's like the first and the 15th. <laughs> So if you're not trying to get shot, don't be anywhere where there's more than five young niggas standing around. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah, that's a point. Yeah, man, that, that, there's some truth to that, man. Um, uh, yeah, but this sister right here, she, I want to, she, 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 she dropped the mic on that, man. Um, it says, it says, so he says, this guy says. Where were you when the late Dick Gregory said what she's been saying years ago? The Lord God equipped her with consciousness. He told about the woman who said she, when he formed her in her mother's belly, and God wakes her up every morning. How much more conscious and woke can she get? Satan's always attempted to offer people something they already have. Oh my God, man, this is crazy. Um. Well, God. It said, this guy says, let's see, America is 80% white and 30% black. 
Well, so much for affirmative <laughs> action and getting and getting you know just uh, letting you get past oh. your uh, grades and uh, you know. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. America is <laughs> <laughs> black. Black on crime exists, but how can black on black crime be that be rapid? I think it means rampant. Unless you brainwashed my by the media's stereotypical narrative that all blacks are bad and whites are pure snow. That's actually not what the mainstream media tells you. <laughs> tells you all white people are racist. And, 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 and unconsciously biased, and black people are fucking victims. But anyway, um, this one says they they will never believe because it makes too much sense. I guarantee you they had on masks, but someone got a glimpse of one, and you know what color he'll be. <laughs> These people really are on here to say like this is a real cover. This is a real threat. That's why I had to save it because I was like, man, I can't even, I can't, I can't fucking just come back. I got to save this shit, man. That's some delusional shit, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering who that crossover 10% is, man. Yeah, I mean, it's 110%. That's true, though. They, they, mama did say give 110%. <laughs> um, this is, oh, God, man. Shit. Fucking Christ. This guy, this this guy says, oh, this is sister. She says, she says, I definitely agree with a portion of your comment. We have been brainwashed to go against one another instead of coming together. Because if we truly came together, the power we would have would be unmatched. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> I hear that shit all the time. That shit, I've been hearing that shit for years. And that would send everyone except the black community into a tailspin in every sense of the word. Unite so we have the power and stop falling into the old trap. <laughs> oh my God, man. Y'all are. Oh, they ain't been to Jamaica, they ain't been to Haiti, they ain't been to Africa with all black folks. You feel me? Yeah, man. Everywhere, man. Anywhere it's just black people. It's fucking chaos. Um it said this this one says <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a, a sister too, Jane. She says now it may not be the case here, guys. But please, let's not act like this doesn't happen in our communities or haven't happened. They are known for infiltrating our communities and organizations. Again, not saying this is the case here in Baltimore, but looking back at history, this is a tactic of theirs. So I see where this comment is, comes from. It's sad we are so quick to go against each other. This was this <laughs> black on black crime is a myth. Why don't they talk about white on white crime? The FBI crime table proves white on white crime is way worse. Yeah, no one talks about that. Explain why. <laughs> I don't see no white people killing out here where I'm at. Well, he said the FBI statistics say white on white crime is way worse than black crime. Where did where do they get this stuff from? Talking. Black folk just talk. Black folk don't research nothing. So he probably heard somebody say that shit. Um Jesus Christ. These people are fucking insane, man. It's hard to you know what? I grew up around these people and I've been privy to these conversations in real time. My God, to, to know that they really talk like this, and this is not just fucking the internet, it's actually, it's, it just makes you. This one says, facts, always some randomly shouting up, a, always someone randomly shooting up a peaceful party with zero suspects. 
these crackers know how to look up black gatherings, etc., then shoot them up. Dreadhead Kingpin 3. Yo, black people are stupid as shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm black, <laughs> but these niggas are stupid as shit. Like, they make us look so bad. Like, it's already bad looking on us. It's like, damn, hearing this type of shit. Like, dude, it's just a sun, sun, sun and black to stand doing sun shit. That's it. Like, why are they making this shit hard and doing all this stupid shit? Saying all this stupid shit, man. This shit's crazy, man. Wow. Hold it down. Let me get some water, man. So what y'all think, panel? Them, them gliders out here wearing a black mask, killing niggas? They wish, bro. They he wish. Should know he should know better than that. He looked like he'd been in a couple shootings himself. And you know it wasn't no white folks doing that. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Real shit. Well, I mean, okay, so so all those like white supremacists, they're all, they're always taking target practice and everything, right? With high powered rifles, and they're gonna come through and miss everybody, basically. Yeah, th yeah, they forgot about that. They forgot about that part. Whites who are notoriously good aimers, good shooters. If you ever been to a gun range, most whites know how to shoot. Well, they you gotta know? make it. They gotta make it look good, though. You know, we gotta shoot. Got can't look at make it look too good. Mm -mm. Feel me. And then the whites came and shot and left all that trash sneakers and ladies. You know what? Sometimes I think that I think that the 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 niggas that actually go out and shoot, they're more logical than the black population in itself. They're even worse than the killers. I seem to think that. They even worse. They they're worse than the, like in the I think in the black community, the worst, the absolutely worst people are the ones that are not the drug dealers, the shooters, the killers, and stuff. They they it even worse. Than the criminals, because the things that come out of their mouth and mind is mind-boggling, bro. And what they vote for too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They're just totally delusional. So y'all think it's a solution, fellas? No, that society just needs to. They, it, that society is just going to be broken. That's just how it is. But if you look at the migration shift, the rise of uh, other ethnic groups, the black population, it's it, it, it's going to be destroyed. It's fin I mean, it's most of like the the influence in the West is already is already being destroyed. Then you. I don't the think so. Oh yeah, the West. No, no, West I'm saying I, I'm talking about the Sun people. I don't think the Sun people is going to get destroyed. I don't think so. Well, Sun people's on the move, bro. They are on the move from the West to the Midwest. They don't really have strongholds like that, like they used to. Years ago, they're starting to shift and go back. A lot of them are going to the south, and it's not what it used to be, bro. You know, there ain't no solution like for even, black folks, man. No, even you look at even the, even in a strong, you would think a strong place like Harlem, where they used to be wild strong. It's not like that no more. Harlem is like mostly Africans. Spanish people like Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, and the blacks, they mostly yeah, yeah, but New York is like a melting pot though. But I know yeah, what you're yeah. saying. I know what you're saying, but like, Harlem used to be like heavy black, but now it's yeah, like but the American population, the American black population in New York, they 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 like push more towards the projects. That's where they at. But and where when it comes to them brownstones and inside the, the city in itself, they're not there like that. And nah, even in the projects, sure. that's how it is in Boston right now, too. Like oh, you're in Boston? Me, What's me up? too. I remember yeah, for years, like like OP and all those like projects, like yes, and they start like breaking them shits down and like doing townhouses. You, you, you see like, what? You, what's see up? What, you see what happened in Boston is we've had like uh, forty five thousand uh, illegal migrants in the past two years alone, and you start seeing that they they the Damn. they they, they, they push towards like Roxbury's like again the American population they towards the projects and the ones that actually own homes that they, they they're old they have no kids so it's just a matter of time you see what i'm saying so where, so where are like the black folks you, you going no, i see you sir i see you sir where are the black but folks I, going uh a lot of them are moving to the south atlanta 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 texas I don't know why. florida texas florida oh, okay that's where they're yeah. going. 
and and there's my other people are just taking taking where they used to be. That's they say Hispanics mostly are taking that over and this group, that group. Even the ones that are very intelligent that gets into the business world when they get there, they're in competitions with like migrants with uh, uh, H one visas from India. <laughs> there's no open it, man. Oh yeah, but there's no unity. That's the problem. So I'm from the Caribbean side of Boston. Oh, me too. I'm from the Caribbean too. Yeah, so at least the Caribbean has a little bit of unity. You see what I'm saying? You already know. You already know. America's not not. So I think the Caribbean neighborhood in Boston starts from, um, uh, I would probably say, uh, Tobit Avenue on up to yeah. go close Mattapan. Like, well, like back in the days, I would say like, it will be like High Park, Mattapan. Used to be, but they got, they got bigger. Yeah. Of course. They got, bigger. they got bigger. Of course. That's act. Is that is that um is is that towards you, the guy Dre Head Kingpin three? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't write nothing in that. In that. Comment. Oh, okay. okay. No, nah. I, I see. He wrote FBA. That's like a new movement that's out right now. Oh yeah, I know. That, that, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm like half FBA and shit, man. Um, you know, half African, man. Um, it's, I mean, I guess if I say something they don't like, they gonna get on you, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if I do something great, if I do something great with my life, they're gonna say they're gonna claim me. Um yeah, um, so it's um let's see, he says, uh you Africans, why the fuck you worried about the FBA business? Um he said, let's <laughs> This one says that is the manner narrative that is the narrative fed to the constituency day in and day out. And clearly it has worked. Literally every community has its own folks committing crime against its own folks. But the only community that has spoken of in the media in this manner are black people. They have been doing this since the days of chattel enslavement, intentionally causing distrust and hatred within our community as an attempt to keep us from ch coming together to create and maintain change. The first thing that needs to change is our mindset about our own. This one, and then he comes back and says, when have crackers ever said to each other, stop blaming black people? Never. So we're in our right to blame them for whatever the fuck we want. A cracker kneeled on George Floyd's neck on video for nine minutes, but they still blame him for his death. Trayvon Martin was a minor that ran from an adult cracker man. The man chased him and killed him. They blame Trayvon for his own death. 0.025% of Asians who were more qualified than black applicants who scores nearly a perfect 1500 on their SATs but they were 300 points higher on their SATs than white legacy admissions, 200 SAT scores at Harvard. They blame black people, overturned affirmative action. Asian hate crimes are committed by over 80% white assailants. That's a lie. That is the biggest lie, and that's wicked too. Yeah, every, everything's been a lie though. Um, and uh, who the fuck did the white media show on the news in isolated incidents? Black people. So politely eat an eggplant emoji, old coon ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. That's so crazy. Yeah, that is so evil, bro. Yeah, niggas just be saying shit. You know, they the, believe it too. You know, as if you're not black, you gotta put yourself in the position of like an old Asian lady, Asian man who got their ass whooped 
beat up by a son man, bro. Like, you know, people have their parents get killed, their maimed, all sorts of stuff. For you to say 80% of the crime committed against this group comes from gliders? Come on, bro. That's beyond evil. When it's like 99% comes from sons. Yes. <laughs> Facts. This one says, I had my 85-year-old barber suggest the same scenario. Years ago, I think there was a peaceful black protest and captured on video was a white man breaking windows and creating havoc. His face was covered during his vandalism, but they eventually arrested and exposed him. Oh, no, you missed this one right here. You just missed something. He said, something really told me you go you go down a little oh my god the the demon is talking to him something told me all the inner city shootings was really whites who painted on black faces and dreads and froze black people are capable of doing that sarcasm <laughs> wow yeah send him you need to send some clips to your show I ain't gonna do nothing. That shit ain't gonna change. This, this is uh, you can't fix this, man. No, Scott Adams already said that you, you can't fix this. This is unfixable. He's right. Wow, unbelievable. This one says, "Girl, it has happened here in Chicago." <laughs> <laughs> They also spark violence during protests by starting fires when black people are protesting. <laughs> How about the looting and twerking? Oh my God, man. Yeah, like what world are they living in? Mm, mm, mm. Wow. What, what, but hold on. The councilwoman feels the same way. The councilwoman feels the same way. She she believes that it's also the police's fault. Not saying that she believes this. She probably believes this, but she's right. No, she can't say that. But she's um she she's she she thinks that if it was if the police was there, none of this would have happened. Um so yeah, she's um is her Felicia Porter? Um, she's just updating the people on here. Um, man, my you God. ever been to this place, huh? I what in Baltimore? I, 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 I don't go to Baltimore past the Harvard, man. I, I'm, I'm from DC. DC is a whole DC is like DC is in the Baltimore, they're not like you think they would be. Like, people don't like know each other and shit. They got a community. They got a Caribbean community in DC. They don't, yeah, yeah, definitely. But they don't share culture. Like DC slang and Baltimore slang is so different. Their swag is different. Their um, their drip is different. The, the girls' hairstyles be different. Hmm. I, the, everything different. And nothing I think I drove by these places, but I've never been in them. Mm. Wow, yo! It's this woman. This this um 